wee woo woo woo. Hey there everyone, this is Sao Cow playing Magalex 3 and today we're gonna play another level in this old apartment building hallway. It's Halloween, so that means we invite ourselves into our neighbors' homes. That's how it goes. Oh, today let go first. Okay, so depending on how things go, we got like we got small clocks today. That's a nice change of pace. Zeus guy, Zeus, Zis, I don't know, Zeus guy, opposite force in 57th place. Uh, wow, Sturgeon Ramo scoring eye to eye. Zatsu going a little bit lower. Well, we'll see what happens. Opposite for lesson in physics. Yo, check it. Yeah, we got space zone arc. All right, welcome to Lake Swamp Tarpit. Squeezing to our and our special looking green pipes. Something fishy going on here. All right. Okay, you can't go on a tar. It's fine. Here we go. Suspicious box right here to show. You can go on top of this mountain here. I got a key. I don't even know why it disappeared here. I'm gonna bomb this box. I am now upside down. Sure, why the hell not? All right, okay. Okay, so, oh, understand how this works here. Oh, this is a little mind melty. All right, L and R still don't have anything to do with it. I meant like going left and going right. Still do what you think they would. Uh, all right, look at that. You're upside down, just like me. Here we go. Big ol' sandwich for you to play. Video games that can stay. Ah, I think I messed it up somewhere. So I gotta do things with my hair. Alright, well, yeah, what do you do here? I guess you gotta go there, but I don't think I can make that jump. Rah! Yeah, no way. Alright, well, maybe there's more to find. Maybe you're just supposed to ride this guy out of time. Alright, yeah, that would make a little bit more sense. Alright, here we are in Blue Cave's Advent. Uh, press down to duck even though you're upside down. A relative dysfunction of humanity. Look at that, I'm gonna fit myself in there and hit the thing. Look at that, the way the screen flashed. Yeah, it was a little distracting. Alright, tar stops. This guy goes in the direction he is at. That's the definition of licorice for no one. Look at this guy. Uh, alright, so now I'm gonna hit this side block. I did it. Whoops. I did not have time to sneak underneath that guy. Alright, we've opened up sideways switches. Which is basically enables us to get here. That's silly. Alright, I can live with that. That guy's just kind of on his head. Alright, and I managed to fit myself in. Oh man. Instead, let's go down here and inside a room. It's a flag! Look at a window! Like, there's a lot of wind in this little flag. Like, look at that ruffle like that. Alright, here we go. Alright, we got switches. We probably want to go there. It seems to split in several directions. We can split. Yeah, that happened. Uh, maybe I regret. Yeah, that is clearly not where I was expected to go, huh? I, I, I might have made a mistake. I might. It might have happened. Because uh, I can't hit that. Whoops. Well, I uh, stepped right in. Stepped right in. All right, well, you know what? We're learning about the world around us. Maybe we want to go here instead. How about that? But I can't really go there. But I can't really go... So, wait. Oh, I see what I want to do. I want to flip around so that I can go here and bop that when it's on my roof. But... <laughs> but... I keep forgetting that the switch disappears, so I can't just land back on the block after bopping my head. And here, yeah, there's just not really anything I can do. So I was doing the right thing. You cannot go in that pipe that is return path only. Oh boy, and even if you spin jump, the game's like, yeah, but no. Alright, so this is just weird and awkward. That's all there is to it. Man, don't die, maybe if you can do it. There we go. You need to press down. 
Yeah, that's totally not weird. Uh, here we go. All right, now I can go and press the switch. Not upside down, so I can go here too. All right, yeah, that's right. You fall, please. Fwomp. I like to see you fall. I will follow suit. Look at that weird spike. It's not a real spike. It's just a rock formation. Don't be afraid of rocks. Rocks are not scary unless you let them be scary. Look at that, guys. Wanna like chomp? Oh, jeez. I should have spun jump over above it. I don't know why I didn't, honestly. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that one is a bit. I don't know. Point is, they are like short term, really uncomfortable swamps. Yeah, like, there's a weird, like, graphic something. Oh, shoot! Uh, oh. There we go. Then, yeah, then it's gonna be the opposite. Because it takes them longer to go back down. Yeah, it's like, basically, here we do the old reversal. Nugget. Got it. Chickens are involved. So, be excited about chickens. Here you gotta redo this again, which sure, but don't flip, flip up the flippo. Oh man, okay, this is like, really? Why is there no power ups in the second half? That is a valid question to ask. <sighs> like, this is a really awkward place. Okay, I can stand. Ah, okay. I'm good. Kinda. At least for now. I don't know what I want to do about you. Alright, that's fine. And I can just go underneath you. Alright, okay. Hey, switch is pressed. I've uncorked my way, but I need to reflip gravity, okay? So we're doing this again, again. Haven't done that enough. All right, one more time for the road. One's pretty simple. Ah, oh, damn it! Ah. Oh, I forgot. All right, dude, come on, just get him there. For the third time on television. Just this happening again. It never stops being pretty scary. Yeah, and the reason I did that is so that I have gravity reverse so that I can fall in there. All right, yay! Checkered blocks, checkered flag, checkered explode. <laughs> All right, and that's the end. All right, that was cute. I the only reason it's hard is. Cause you don't get a power up. If you if you the the first time you get to that level is the easiest because you get the embiggening from the flag. Something you just do not get going forward. I just I don't know why. I don't know if it's an oversight or what. Yeah, you wouldn't try it. All right, then I won't. Uh, yeah, that was a really nice ending. Right after midpoint, is for blind fall. Hmm. Sizable blocks. Uh, I don't understand. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. The 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 semi solids. I don't know. I thought it was pretty obvious. You just look at where the chunks of background was. Uh, I mean, you know, I would rather it be a bit too short than a bit too long. Like I appreciate a lot of what the level does. I I don't know. I just kind of got my face smashed in a little bit by how fragile you are in the second half. Uh, what I think, there's a lot of like funny moving around with the gravity switching. The tarpit though is extremely... My name has tarpit in it. <laughs> uh, oh, apparently they can cramp kill you. All right. I mean, that's just my only thing thing I don't know I think I just died too much and it kind of hampered my appreciation for some of the thwomp shenanigans uh,
Yeah, honestly, it's pretty all right. And it's a neat test of sneak. Sure, yeah, sneaking. Yeah. You know, he's got Thwomp as an NPC, so that's all you're allowed to use. Uh, I thought it was nice, but yeah, I, I, mean, I feel like my own criticism have been fairly explained. I'm gonna give it a shot. Two clocks? Sure. By core! Fifth, sixth, ghost path! Uh oh High Sturg score, low Remo score. We know what that can mean, but then also we got a 94 on the Zatsu channel. Like, what does that mean? Higher than Sturg. Well, we'll see what that means. Alright, we got, I got, whoop, I got me jumping right in that ghost. Alright, so yeah, I think this is gonna be a high setup density level. Oh wait, you can't? Okay, you can't climb these. So you gotta use the ghost as a stairway that sometimes doesn't pop up. <laughs> is that the story you're telling here? You gotta do it on your first shot, because that's when they're best aligned. Don't go down there. Why? Okay, well, there goes those ghosts. Weird. But then you go here and you- oh. <sighs> okay, so you're supposed to activate those theories so they go here so they can bounce on it. If you pay sufficiently attention, I think you can suss out that's what's gonna happen. Like, maybe that's why there's- Two boxes? It's so... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Maybe. Sam get mad. <laughs> fine. <sighs> it's not fine. That's an awkward speed, I find, for this movement of Sprite that you're gonna be bouncing on. Use me. Like, not bouncing on, but like, along. Hey, all right, and there's a pipe. Yeah, all right, so we got like tiny rooms. Perfecto, perfecta. All right, so it looks like we're gonna be babysitting ourselves with an airy. That's fine with me. All right, here we go. We got calm, soothing music, which is not my favorite for action adventure ghost themes, but it's fine. Hey, oh, drop here. All right, here we go. We got ourselves a dark block here to show. The middle of the night is here to stay. Bungling Bay. Uh, right, I'm just gonna jump up here a little bit. I'm just try. Okay, so that's not gonna work. You are gonna want to go in the far side and not that side, I think. Well, I don't know, maybe if I had a running jump, it's just that I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm trying to run jump the least possible. Okay, no, that's very easy to do. Oh, there's something very interesting here. So, yeah, like, you know those, like, coins you go into and then you make them appear? Like, that's what's happening. I have to create my own ghost. Transparency! That just kind of happened. Here we go. It is now time for infamy. Uh, bounce on a skeleton ghost. There's no skeletons here. I don't know why I said that. All right, here we go. Music is getting a lot more intense. Yo, wah. Here we go. Here we time. Here we yo. Bounce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Yagano ghost. <laughs> this is great. Okay, how are we gonna do this? A little like that? Okay. Oh, wow, this level is amazing. Like, this level has turned- Oh, yeah, I- I should have seen that coming! I should have saw that- Why? I should have saw that coming. That was- With the way that the level is set up and what it teaches you, I- Whoa. Whoa there, I didn't, did I press down? I do not recall pressing down. But- you're pretty fragile with that. Okay. Then, like that, so it goes in that direction. <laughs> yeah! Oh, it's so cool. Uh-oh, we're now in the dark part. That's how you know it's scary. 
there's less light, even though... Whoops, these torches are, like, bellowing. Uh, yeah. Ah, dude. My timing is bad. There we go. Oh, that was the end! Big ol' Christmas tree! <laughs> oh. So yeah, basically you get one room for that, like, that one obstacle. <laughs> I love this level! This level is so good! I know why Ramo doesn't like it. Ramo doesn't like setup levels, and this is a setup level. That's fine. I love those, though. Whoa, no bonus! Yeah, honestly, yeah, claustrophobic. You did it. You nailed it. You nailed that part. But it still felt pretty fun. Did, were you allowed to just not take a bonus? Like the dedicated challenge rooms. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like my type of game, my type of level. Oh, I'm so happy I played it. Wish there was a way to keep the music playing after dying. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. It's a... Uh, yeah, anyone who are making, like, hyper-death levels, th that is an important feature to consider trying to implement. I don't know if it's possible, though. Ha wonderfully executed high-difficulty level. Yeah, yeah, you, you checkpoint all the time, and that's a big differentiator in making this pleasant. Yeah, when the Eeries get introduced in boxes, like like I said, I think if you take the time to examine the room before bopping the block, you can figure it out ahead of time. I just don't know how likely it is to someone to examine carefully a room before bopping a question mark, before knowing that that's going to be important. But death is so meaningless that I guess it doesn't really matter. Like, sometimes I say how learning through death is fine if the level slash game is, con like, made for it. And this is an example, I feel, of a level in which it feels totally fine. Final room is the final room. One obstacle. Yeah, see, this is not Tramo's taste. Again, that's perfectly fine. Like, we have very different judges. That's what makes this good. Also, I feel like has a couple of hints of ideas is unfair. Like, there's some really cool things going on here, but hey, you didn't like it. Alright, I mean, alright. Local gas stoves are the most ethereal objects around. Mm, welcome to Crimsley. Do I? I don't know, it's two mushrooms. Nah. Let's, uh, let's not be silly. We, oh, instead of a ghost, it's just like a little writing on the floor. Isn't that kind of sad in a weird way? Why? Why would that be sad? It's writing on the floor is not sad. Uh, 